The first thing that we're going to take care of is the volume menu, so you can control the volume of your RPC. Open up the Event Ghost and you'll see I've got five different tasks. Four of them will set the volume on the PC. So I have one for mute and three for different volumes, the low, med and uh, high. Each one of them is constructed in the same way. Auto remote message is received and then a volume is set by uh, set the volume uh, to a specific um, value. So if you want to mute it, mute it, set it to zero. If you want to set it to low, I set it to 25, etc, etc. Once the volume is set, auto remote send message is issuing the relevant information back to my um, mobile. Please pay attention to the formatting as this is important to intercept this message. So if you notice there is another action and this is to intercept the changes on the PC. When I change the volume on the PC, a system event occurs which is updated volume. Uh, we can intercept the value of it and pass it back via auto remote to our um, mobile or target device. Use the system volume as a trigger and auto remote send as an action. You want to send even ghost, even payload in the curly brackets as your message after the um, parameter symbol. This message will be intercepted by tasker and then processed so uh, the value of the volume would appear on our notification bar. Save your progress and now we have even ghost setup ready. Let's go back to the tasker and let's uh, build our profile in tasker now. Open up a tasker and uh, if you already follow the part one, you should see these profiles already established. I'll assume you've got the main buttons ready. So at this moment, all we have to do is build another sub menu. Create an auto notification uh, message as follows. The notification will be presented to us only if auto notification command variable will be equals to open volume. There is few things to pay attention to. Take a look at the actions that I've listed. You will notice open close in a second action and also you will notice the command sent via auto remote. Be sure to add button to as a prefix. Now that we have this notification ready, it will issue auto remote command. And because we set up the framework already, there is nothing we have to add in order for this to be completed. It's excellent because all that hard work from a part one has already paid off. So as you can see, if you go to send AR task, you will see the framework ready to send an auto remote message back to our computer. Because we want to receive the volume of our PC, uh, we have to set up another thing in the notification task. First, we're going to intercept the issued AR command uh, local variable. It will contain the value of the PC volume and we're going to set it as a PC a volume variable. This information is presented just underneath the icon. So we have to update all the default notification. One is on the position four. So go to text and enter the second variable PC volume. There is another instance of the same default notification and this is in a tier one uh, task. So please go there and also update that notification as well by entering the PC volume as a second variable in a text label. And that's pretty much it for the volume menu. It should work correctly for you. The next profile in this project is the apps menu that contains uh, shortcuts to open the programs. Please click on the corner for the card to open that written tutorial. We're going to start with Event Ghost, so open that and create new folder which contains our bookmark actions. I only have four different actions, but feel free to um, add yours. I'm going to show you how to open a program, how to open a specific website, or how to open just a website, and how to close Chrome or you can apply the same method to closing everything else. We are using our trigger, which is auto remote message in every single uh, task. So once that happened, we're going to use action start program and then just uh, copy and paste the path to the executive file. Uh, the same goes by the website. Uh, for the command line options, please enter the website you want to uh, open. And if you just want to pop and open uh, the Chrome window itself, just don't enter anything in the command line. Now, I have my Amazon bookmark there for a reason, because uh, by adding a keyboard plugin, I can enable uh, my premium subscription from Amazon and watching Amazon Prime films in a full screen. And to do so, we have to add the keyboard uh, plugin and then an action. First, we want to wait for the uh, 
Chrome to open, so add a wait action and wait for about three seconds before that uh, keystroke gonna happen. The second action to add is to emulate the keystroke and that can be found in the um, system options. Open this and to emulate the uh, keystroke for F11, you have to go to the dropdown list, select the F11 and then press insert and then just okay the task. This means that after three seconds, our session in Chrome will become a full screen operation. The last action I've added is the closing Chrome. So to do it, we have to do one more thing before uh, issuing a close command, and this is to find a window. So uh, look in the system for find window um, action, and then obviously we can either select Chrome or just type in in program Chrome to close it. If you just leave it as it is, it will close all the instances of Chrome, including the incognito versions. Once this is completed, we have to do only a simple close action and then maybe uh, get the notification back to Chrome if you want to notify it about the closure. Open up a tasker and uh, as previously, adding a new menu is very simple. Let's start with submenu open and add another uh, uh, auto notification button. Set the if condition to auto notification command local variable and set it to open bookmark in my case. Pay attention to the colors, to the actions and to the action prefix, which is button through two. You can pause the screen to look it up or just uh, click on the link uh, in a card that was previously to find the detailed descriptions. And because I'm not issuing returning notification and the uh, send auto remote profile is already completed, there is not much to it, to be honest. The entire profile is completed as it is and it will work flawlessly for you. Of course, if you're interested in some feedback from a PC, simply just go back and follow the PC volume feedback loop. The last part of this series is screen timeout menu on your PC. You can see the written tutorial on the card in the corner. Let's start with opening the event ghost. I have four different settings for the screen timeout and I use them mostly for my remote desktop sessions so I wouldn't keep the screen open for a long time. Each task in Event Ghost is built in the exact same way. First receives auto remote not a notification message with the value of the screen timeout. Then I'm running a Windows command, which is listed on the screen right now. Depending on the value, the screen timeout is changed accordingly. So I have it set to five minutes, 30, 120, and one minute for those uh, remote desktop notification. Once that happens, I'm issuing the notification back to the phone. If you followed all the steps, you will know what's gonna happen next. To do this, the notification screen, we're gonna create a new submenu as presented on the screen to you. So go back to the tasker, open the tasker and select the um, open submenu. Add another auto notification buttons menu. And this time it's gonna respond to the auto notification command local variable open screen. Pay attention to the setup, especially to uh, actions and to the uh, prefix, as that's gonna change. You can pause the screen if you want to, or you can click on the card pr uh, that was presented to you previously, as it will take you to the written down tutorial for this part. In a similar way to the volume, we have to take care of the variables, which are gonna be uh, storing our timeout, the current timeout on the PC. So uh, we don't have to do anything again in the uh, AR, send AR profile. All we have to do is just modify slightly the notification um, task. We're going to create a new variable, variable set PC screen, and it sets to auto remote command local variable, and it sets when that uh, command equals to a regex value of screen. Then we're going to update the default notification that contains four, um, four icons, and the text uh, to add is obviously the PC screen. Uh, this default notification is the fourth on here, and it's also presented in tier one buttons task. Uh, that needs to be updated. So make sure the text of this notification has three now uh, different variables. And that was the last of the changes that we had to do to complete the profile. Obviously, feel free to modify anything you want. Uh, by that time, you should know how to add the new submenus and create your own creation. You can toggle the lights, open the garages, switch the pumps in the pools, etc. It's up to you. And that was the last part of this project. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Consider following me on YouTube, uh, so subscribe to the channel or to the social media uh, to get uh, more or less regular updates on my work. 
Right, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.